Oh, welcome back to Chopper Sciences. Today we're gonna put a Kickstarter on Donnie's bike. Ooh, let's get. So this is the parts you get with a Ultima kick conversion kit. So this kit will run you about 480 bucks. You can pretty much get them anywhere, but we got ours from uh, Black Horse Cycle in Windsor, Ontario, Canada. Shout out to them. Well, yeah. This is the parts first, and uh, we'll get into her and get the removal going soon. Well, first step in removal is getting all these bolts loose. You're going to want to keep them in order because there's different sizes for them, and if you mix them up, it's going to be a fucking nightmare. So, safe. Well, she might need a bit of motivation. So, dead blow works the best. But... And the a little bit of brute force and ignorance never hurts. Oh, fuck it. All right, with a bit of motivation, she comes off. Just like that. Well, uh, all those beautiful pieces. All right, so next step is we got to disconnect the clutch cable. All right, so. What you want to do is you want to get this knob out of this little guy here. It's a bit of fucking around, but once you once you get into it, you'll figure it out. So next step is to just turn this guy off, and then the whole cable will come right out. Just like that. A little bit of oil came out of the case, but not not too much. Oh fuck, it got caught there. Oh no, what are the chances, eh? Alright, well if you're not paying attention folks, sometimes stupid things like this happen, but that's alright. We're human beings. We just want to show you guys that. We're human beings too. So just watch your mistakes. Happy accidents. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I should, I should pull right out there, no, what? Look, how long is that thread? There you go. God damn. There Ooh, you yeah. go, that's it. Okay, so now that that's out of the way, we gotta crack into this thing. So the next step is gonna be to remove this main shaft nut. This, the, the kit comes with a new one of these. That's just the clutch lever arm. That's fine, I just push that back in there. But yeah, next step, pull that nut off. It get, re it get replaced here with this nut and this spacer. Bit of Loctite on there, but we'll show you how that goes in just a sec. So, with a bit of a motivation, She'll break free. Normal thread, normal right-handed thread. Bit of a nylock on there, so she might be a bit of a cunt. But right behind it, there's a little spacer that has to be removed as well. Because in the new kit, it comes with another one that's just a little bit bigger to compensate for the size of the case. But uh, that's the spacer there. So yeah, next step is to uh, take this spacer and this nut and put them on. So here, I'll hand them to you, Donnie. And uh, you get the honors, boy. So here you go. Spacer, get a bit of Loctite on them threads. And then do her up. Hell yeah, brother. <clears throat> so that's it. Okay, so once you got that nut, it's about an inch and a half, so we had to get a big wrench on it. But once you've snugged it up by hand, you want to just give her a couple of little blows with a hammer just to really snug that bolt into place. And uh, that should be good enough. Don't, mean no, don't need much more than that. So. so, in order to get the clutch cable to fit into this thing, we have to take this guy apart. All it really consists of is this one nut or one bolt here. It comes out, and then everything else just kind of comes out as well, which gives you enough room to fish your cable into there. And also, you want to just make note of this plate in 
in relation to the gear, we've just put a little mark there just so we know where to put it when we put it back together. Might take a bit of motivation to yeah. get this guy out. That's right. <laughs> You're gonna have to pry it, I think. Yeah, for sure. Oh, she's in there good, yeah. eh? Okay. Let's get it. <laughs> this is, there's no way. <laughs> okay. All right, well, let's try this here. Take this. Probably got to do. Probably got to take tension off of the, uh, the spring here. That's forcing it in one direction, so it might work against us. Nope. <laughs> so a little bit of fucking around. She comes right out. So right behind that is a thrust washer and a thrust bearing. I'm pretty sure here. Okay, no, it's just a washer, but anyway, once that's out, that's okay. We're going to put that to a side. Same with that thing, because that's going to be in our way. This guy just comes right out. Same thing, there's a spring there. You want to just keep all that shit, put it aside very nicely. And then uh, it should be getting pretty close to getting that thing in there. Those three bolts out, this whole plate's going to come back out, and then I guess this whole unit is going to be free. And it'll make it much easier for us to get the uh, clutch cable into place. But, uh, yeah, a little bit of fucking around. And we're going to find out. <laughs> Beauty. So, I can... Take all that Ooh. shit out. Uh, a couple of bears. No big deal. A couple of balls. You don't need to. They end up in the right spot. But hey, you guys get the idea. It's going to make it much easier to get that cable in there now. So, let's get it in there. All right. Moment of truth. This thing isn't long enough. No? Well. It should be. No? That's all I'm getting. And then Screw I'm it all the way in. Okay. You're gonna gain about an inch. <clears throat> an inch when you screw that whole fucking thing in. I need this to come out because it's gonna... Okay. I need bearings. Side. You gonna put the bearings aside, or is that thing just gonna? Yeah, I'm gonna pull these bearings out too. Okay. Fuck! Don't any of these machines got a radio in them? We can just crank. <laughs> crank get, 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 just get some crank more. Back home. Get some more copyright claims. Yeah. Yeah, just so everybody knows, I don't own any of the music. <laughs> don't sue me. Humble beginnings. <laughs> there we go. I'm sure we probably be alright as long as we don't play any fucking Metallica or anything like that. Lars Ulrich going like one of his fucking penny. He'll be over here in a second. Oh, looks like you missed one. Fuck. Ah, that's just the bottom of the bearing holder. Not a problem. Here, I'll take it. Ah, cutie. Yeah, let's sit here. I 
What's the matter? I don't know. Alright, want me to have a try? Is it the same shred pattern? I don't know. There you go. Yeah, there you go. That's all the gangles, baby. Oh, flying! Hey! She's flying. Oh, look at that. Sell that baby up. Ooh. Oh. Not too much. Don't want a stripper. Unless you want a stripper, but not in this case. We want to we keep that chrome shiny. <clears throat> We're just gonna get that oil seal to seat seat nicely in there. Yeah. yeah. So he's just screwing around with a little oil seal that's in there, but we'll get it. It should snug tight. Mm. That yeah. should be it. Heck yeah, brother. <laughs> That's right, man. All right. So I guess now that that's in there, you got to uh, get the clutch cable hooked up to that lever that's not in there. But we can go get it and we'll put it back in. All right. So you want to get this little guy set up just like that because it makes it much easier to make this part here. Once you get that in there, everything kind of just should fall into place. Just like that. So there you go. Clutch cable installed. Next thing you gotta do is put everything back in there. And then, uh, yeah, <laughs> we're almost there, boys. Woo! First part goes back in. It's just those three little guys. Snug them up until your knuckles are nice and white. It's good enough. We don't know the torque specs, so that's why I'm telling you to just snug them up. <laughs> knuckle tight. White <laughs> knuckle tight. All right, next piece, the spring. Take the spring. Yeah, I got it. And then, uh, no, you're doing it wrong. So you fucked it. Yeah, let's try this again. You put the spring in first, <laughs> and then you put the gear. And that's that. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking dickhead. <laughs> ah, fuck, we love each other here. All right, here, so then now we got to get this, and we got to find our mark. So we hold that there. So we got this bad boy to put on too. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Pull that guy out. This guy sits on there, and then that guy goes in the other way. No. All right, so at first we had it kind of sitting like this, but then we realized that it just had to be moved one flat. But basically, once everything's in place, that's it. There's another piece that just kind of screws in there that holds it down. And uh, that's this guy right here. So if you want to just take that. And I found out the information for those uh, flathead bolts. They're 120 to 140 inch pounds of torque. But we're just, like I said, we're just going white knuckle tight. Basically, that's that's it. Okay, so that's all snugged up nice. The next step is to replace this guy. It came with a whole new setup. So what you're going to want to do, put a little bit of grease into your bearing. Sandwich that bearing with these two washers. Put it on that end. It also comes with a little clip too. So we'll do that and then we'll put it in a so that's what she looks like all put together pretty much like the old one but she goes right in there like oh yeah and uh that's her that's all she wrote ooh, 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 ooh. all right so there's three different size bolts on this guy 
On the bottom is the short one. In the middle, the medium. And on the top, I'm sure you get the fucking idea. All right? So button those all up. Snug them up nice. Next step, we put the kick ar the kicker arm on there. Fill her up with some transmission oil. And uh, Donnie Boy here gets to kick his bike over. Oh, shit. That's going to be the best part of the video, everyone. Watching the kick. So this is what she looks like when it's all done. You're going to want to put some oil back into there. You have a oil fill plug here. So you just take that out. Fill your oil up until it pours out of there. And then you know you're at the right level. But then the next step is to start her up. Get her going. Well, look at Donnie got some new pipes. So we're going to put those on too. Then we'll get this bad boy all started up. So we're going to start by removing these crush washers from inside of here once you remove your old exhaust system. First things first, though. First things first. Get those right. fuckers out. Get your mind right, though. So, with some pizza. Oh, his mind's right with pizza. <laughs> Found that these pliers work real good for this job. You know. And yeah, that's it. You get a new one. We'll stick them back in. New, old. Alright. Alright, let's try it. Get a pretty good view of it. Alright, that's the ring. Stick that bad boy in there. Alright, our boy Donnie's gonna introduce us to some pipe. Oh yeah, there's that fucking pipe. Alright, we're gonna steal that from you. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, how do you that okay. Okay. <laughs> That's a predicament. Well, technical difficulties. What the fuck? Alright, reintroducing the pipes. Oh, what's up with the buddy? I think this wants to keep sneaking by. Okay. Okay, yeah. Oh, I fucking love it when you can. I don't even think I heard it at the floor, did you? I don't know. Grab one from here, man. Okay. Find another one. Did you actually grab me a fucking extension there, Don Boy? Recorder? 
you know, an extension. Thanks. And you know, I wouldn't need a uh, half inch just wrench too. If you wanted to. Please, thank you. There we go. Rock and roll here. That a good spot there for you, yeah? You like it there? And it's angle and all that, before I tighten her down too much. I don't know, we gotta figure out these brackets and shit like that. Like, like this is just kind of... Okay, well then I won't snug it down too much, but it's gonna be held there for now, alright? Okay. Not a biggie. Alright, so... That's basically that for now. We'll get to a different angle and see the back. All right. I don't want to take those fucking gloves off. Getting mm -hmm. some dexterity. Yeah. Brother. Ooh. Fuck, dude. This is going to take a moment. I'm about to drop the bolt with a knife. Mm -hmm. That's right. You'll get it, bud. Dude, these pipes are gonna look fucking slick though. Nice off sweat, bad boys. There you go, here, get that one on there too. Fucking angle, eh? Thank God for the universal joint, eh? The land of dropped bolts. Well, yeah, you guys get the idea how to put on the fucking exhaust pipes. Simple as that. Tighten those bad boys up, get them in the right position. Then you find the, the brackets if you gotta do some work to that. And then you do the work. And then, yeah, but we're gonna get this bad boy started up soon. Fuck yeah. Up sweat pipes are sick. <laughs> 